Well, the Kingdom of Cambodia, population 15 million, goes to the polls in July. It's 20 years since the UN-sponsored relatively free and fair elections with a 90% turnout were held, but there are fears opposition parties may be subjected to harassment and intimidation. Although we are members of parliament, we are outside of the system, like the poor who are outside of the society. The people who are not in the system who represent the 90%, the 90% depend on the active role of the opposition. The polls closed a day ago and results have been announced, but everyone in Cambodia is still talking about the Prime the Minister's elections. party claiming a narrow victory, despite a strong challenge from the opposition. A government spokesman says Hun San's Cambodian People's Party won 68. The government, he will control all the departments of government. His party yeah, controls almost every the local government as well. The question change is that the opposition has the ability to control. We go out every day to the grassroots. I spend weeks in with my constituents. The message that we take to the, the voters is door to door. It's through small community meetings. It's through small public forums. It is not fair when we cannot, as 29 members in parliament, be on TV while pro-government, while members of parliament who are from the ruling party can use 16 TV stations, over 100, 100 radio stations. You know, uh, in Cambodia, if you look quickly, it's free press in Cambodia because we have the opposition newspaper, we have the uh, foreigner, uh, journalists here, the newspaper here, everywhere. But they control, they control it like this. Uh, if they want to arrest someone, some journalist, they can do because they control the court. The court in Cambodia is not independent. The former Communist Party who've been running this country after the uh, 1993 election which was organized by the United Nations still maintain the control over the broadcast media. Information is important. I think we have to find a way to send a message across to the population. And to do so, I think we find all the means, like we copy our party show or spot a message on DVD and we distribute to people so they can uh, play them in the in the home equipment, uh, and then they, we uh, get our activists or our party uh, 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 member to go from house to houses, distributing uh, leaflets, um, explaining uh, uh, on our party uh, policy and program. So. I have traveled a lot, travel mostly in the countryside. In Cambodia we have 24 provinces. We have every month 
I have to go every province. We had to travel to every commune. We, we, we break up our leaders in two different areas and then we had to go and meet people at the commune level. We, we, have, we were trying to bring uh, people in each commune together. Then our leader will speak direct to them and then allow them to question us. <laughs> The public forum, it is very important. If uh, the people, we tell the people our uh, policy, we tell the people the truth, uh, we people know their, their problem, and we, we give the people how we can solve the problem. I think this is a very effective uh, way, uh, quite different from the ruling party when they got so much access to uh, broadcast uh, media. Uh, they, they were just repeating the same thing um, and people have no right to question uh, their policy or able to uh, uh, you know personally meet uh, their representative and so on so we what we're doing is a it's a hard work it's a very difficult uh, and and uh, time consuming but it I think it's very effective that why people really like us more <laughs> The CPP, the ruling party, is the communist party. The, the leader in Cambodia now is the former uh, Khmer Rouge leader. And if you know the policy of the Khmer Rouge leader, of the policy of the communist, they destroy the opposition. When we started to, back in November 95, we immediately had a lot of support. The situation was so bad that we had immediately many supporters. They used violence, like we have had uh, many assassination attempts on my party leader. Uh, we also had a deadly grenade attack when we were in a peaceful demonstration. So we suffered many losses, many people were killed. Uh, all in all, since November 95 up to today, I think we, had, we have had like around 100 of our activists who were killed. <laughs> La province de Brevet, où son protier est le parti numéro un. C'est-à-dire qu'on a plus de nombre. Paper. They said if they vote for, they don't vote for CPP, the war comes. Now they, they, they tell people everywhere. You know, Cambodian people passed the war many years already, more than 20, 30 years already. They even don't want to go back to war again. That was not a fair way of uh, threatening. Uh, the uh, people. In fact, we do not have any arm, army, we do not have any weapon to really confront uh, in, 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 in with the ruling party uh, that would cause any disaster. Uh, we just a, demo, a bunch of democrat uh, people who are having all this uh, uh, vision, idea, and what is the best for the country. Cambodia looks like a country in peace, but it is a country with democracy, but it is a facade of democracy. It is a facade of peace. <laughs> Is someone think that uh, Cambodia now is peace? No war not mean that uh, peace. The leader of the opposition is in exile. He is convicted to 12 years for defending the border of Cambodia, territory of Cambodia. <laughs> It is always bad and difficult that our leader is not with us. 
but because of the new technology, the new communication technology, they have been also cheap, so readily available. We can have his voice and his image by Skype, for instance, every single day. In the most remote areas of this country, we can have sovereignty taking part to any one of our meetings. If we want to change, we need to change. Without the uh, brave leader, we cannot change. Our people need the leader, can stay with them. When we announced that the Mr. Samrazi will, will, will come back uh, before the election, a lot of people, uh, you know, is, you know, will display their joy. Um, we're talking about 100,000 of people. <laughs> always told us Samrasi is not one person. Samrasi is the majority of the people of the world. The enthusiasm from the people here was, I think, was nothing that we have ever seen before in Cambodian history. There hasn't been any political gathering that has been bigger and more powerful than the July 19th gathering. People feel that's their success. They they help him to be back into the country and that's why they felt it was it was a victory um, on the opposition side, it was a victory on their part. But I, I believe it, it must be the number, must be somewhere around half a million to a million people on, on the street for several hours. So it, it, was, um, it, was, it was like a miracle. You, you don't see something like that every day anywhere in the world, not just here. <laughs> Especially young people, unbelievable. I mean, the, the use of a new technology, the Facebook, it really stirred up the whole thing. I mean, the young people were just very motivated. The CNRP, the opposition, has been, um, has, has been using also Facebook as a method to, as the only means, actually one of the very few means to reach out to the masses, especially young people. And that's when young people here realize that they have a voice, they have a power that can, they have a voice that can be heard, and they can use it um, to advance their causes. <laughs> is younger than 30. So this is a big change uh, that will push the country towards more moder modernity and more democracy. <laughs> the new generation is not only supporting any individual, but they're supporting idea, which is different from before. With all the youth, that are so numerous in this society, they will welcome this wind of freedom and they will be able to transform 
our society, our country into a modern, vibrant, democratic and dynamic country. We will never have a free and fair election. You know, the, the plan to steal a vote through fake uh, voter list or deleting uh, a large uh, number of, uh, of opposition voters. We have to join. Even we know the National Election Commission not free and fair, but we still call for a change, for reform the National Election Commission. We still call for the uh, free and fair election for this year. This year. <laughs> Simple, no, Roman no. And then this response from the council said, no, they mean change or, or not, they're changing. And then the, the crowd said, yes, we change. I mean, I mean, this, uh, um, it, it developed itself. I mean, I mean, the party have not been uh, really introduced that, actually. Uh, but the young people would come up with the idea that, that it's time for change. So it is to encourage people to sort of shout out aloud that they want change, they want a, a, a different way of, of, of governing. <laughs> Party that are going to run the country have to adjust themselves too, have to reform themselves to ensure that uh, the people will accept that. Otherwise, I think, uh, like many countries in the, in the uh, Middle East, uh, uh, the power it becomes so great now in, in, in any country. Oh.